Hello guys, uh, this is Golden Reviewer. Uh, right with me, I have two Galaxy S21 Ultra. One uh, with the Snapdragon 888 SoC and one with the Exynos 2100 SoC. So I'm holding them both in my hands. I've set them to 4K 30 FPS. And I'm going to test the low light video capability on all lenses on these two devices to see if the SOC matters. Okay, um, now I'm on the main lens, and uh, from what I can see, at this kind of lighting situation, there isn't that much of a difference. Okay, both are doing quite good actually if you remember from last year the S20 Ultra and the Note 20 Ultra with the new 108 megapixel sensor was a disaster in low light video the low light video was super blur blurry and uh, just awful but I think this time is better oh here when the light is a bit dimmer I think the device on the right, this is what? All right, this is the Snapdragon 888. I think it's slightly more brighter. It captures a little bit more details in the darker areas. And uh, the Exynos one seems a little bit more um, blurry and darker. I'm not sure whether it's because of the viewfinder, because now I'm viewing them on the phone, but maybe later I need to take a look on my PC, see whether there's any real difference. Okay. Uh, just to uh, make sure nothing is wrong with the test, I'll record them both uh, so that you see the test is, uh, is a real one, right? So you see the, the devices, okay? And uh, I think indeed the Snapdragon variant is showing a little bit more details, especially in the shadows. The Exynos seems to be very aggressive to do the noise cancellation, so to, it, it makes the whole uh, frame looks very soft. Okay, I don't know if you can see the difference or not, right? Okay, and uh, that's for the main lens let's try the ultra wide now okay with the ultra wide i think it's the same pattern the snapdragon variant retains a bit more detail uh, while the exynos variant is very very aggressive with noise reduction so the whole frame looks very soft on the Exynos version. Well, I can see more details, but at the same time, more noise on the Snapdragon version. <clears throat> okay, it's very very apparent if you look at the this uh, road surface. On the Snapdragon, you can actually tell the greeny texture of the road. While on the Exynos, it's just um, it's like a smooth surface right uh, this is quite interesting i i don't know about you but personally i prefer the one with more noise and more details okay okay <clears throat> So now we are recording on the ultra wide angle lens. Okay, and uh, all 40, a uh, 4K 30 FPS. So you might ask, uh, why don't you do 4K 60 FPS? Uh, the reason is that in low light, there isn't much benefit from recording at 60 FPS because you just don't have enough light. Um, it will make the it make it will make things even more blurry and darker and more noisier, right? 
so you always want to use 30 fps in low lag situations okay now let's switch back to the main lens again okay so on the main lens i think you'll see a little bit more shadow details on the snapdragon uh, okay that's the case i think hmm I prefer the the more detailed, uh, more sharper image on a Snapdragon, right? I'm I'm okay with a little bit of noise, but th that's just my personal preference. Uh, you can tell me in the comments which style you would prefer. Okay, I can understand that some people might prefer the Exynos uh, style. And now let's try the 3x zoom. Okay, this is the 3x, but I'm not sure whether it's actually using the 3x lens or it's just uh, doing digital zoom from the main lens. It's very hard to tell from the viewfinder here. Um, yeah, I don't, I really don't know. Uh, what if we change to 10x? Okay. I think they also has a little bit of different um, uh, tendency to use the when it comes to whether using the main lens or the, the zoom lens. So you can't really control. It's all decided by the, uh, the, the smartphone itself. So now it's 3x again. Uh, to be honest, on the zoom lens. The Exynos actually looks a little bit sharper, but um, I don't know. Now let's change to 10x. And this time the Snapdragon is sharper. So it does go back and forth uh, for different lenses. One is better, uh, while well, for other lenses, the other one is better. Now back to the main lens, but I think the main lens is still the one you use the most, right? Um, and on the main lens, I prefer the the Snapdragon. Uh, look at the look at the tiles on, on the road surface. It's a blurry mess on the Exynos. Well, on the Snapdragon, you still can see something. It's it's very noisy. It's not good. It's not great. I know, but at least you can see something. Uh, on the Exynos, it's just no, no, no. It's uh, no. Okay, and let's change back to ultra wide again. Mm. See the road surface? There is just much more detail on the Snapdragon. Okay. Uh, let's try zoom where there is a little bit of normal light. Uh, I think no much difference there. Both are doing great. And 10x zoom. Yeah, I think it's not much difference, at least from the viewfinder. Okay, guys, I think uh, that's all for today's uh, video, low light video comparison. We've covered uh, the low light 4K 30 FPS performance on all four lenses. And uh, let me know down in the comments which one you prefer and which one you think is better and why. Okay, see you next time.